What's up guys? Welcome again to my channel. For today's video, I will show you the air compressor, how it works, and its parts. Like and subscribe! Air compressor it is a mechanical device which produces pressurized air and stores it in a large bottle called air receiver or air reservoir. Compressed air primarily used in starting of main engine Starting of generator engine and for general service like cleaning of filters and strainers also for the air control system Air compressor on board the ship usually installed in two sets, compressor number 1 and compressor number 2. And in every ship, the makers and model of the air compressor are different. In this video, our compressor is a Tana B H74. And here are the parts of the air compressor. The air filter, cylinder head, and inside of this is a first stage valve. The piston. First stage cooler. Second stage suction valve Second stage cooler Second stage delivery valve The crankcase And inside of this Is a connecting rod And the crankshaft The unloader or the magnetic valve. The flywheel. And electric motor. The cooling water. And the cooling water pump. The safety valve. The breather cap or the oil port, water checker, oil screen, oil filter element, oil level gauge, drain separator, Auto drain trap, instrument panel, pressure switch, and the air bottle. And now, let's go to the working principles of the air compressor. It starts with the air suction filter that takes suction from the atmosphere and at the downward stroke of the first stage piston air is drawn to the first stage suction valve
and as the first stage piston goes up, the first stage suction valve is closed and air is compressed. Then, the compressed air passes to the first stage delivery valve and flows through the first stage cooler. And on the downward movement of the second stage piston, second stage suction valve allows entry of the compressed air then compresses again and discharges to the second stage delivery valve and flows through the second stage cooler Then, the air will flow through the pipe going to the air receiver or air bottle. And, when the pressure in the air bottle reach the upper limit set pressure, the pressure switch operates to stop the compressor and discharge the drain in each stage from the unloader. And when the pressure in the air bottle has dropped to the lower limit set pressure, the pressure switch operates again and the compressor starts. And now, let's proceed to the maintenance of the air compressor. Before starting any kind of maintenance for air compressor, be sure to switch off the breaker and put the tag do not start or under maintenance. Wear proper personal protective equipment and read the manual for instructions. Cleaning or replacing the air suction filter Changing oil, the compressor crankcase oil. When changing oil, use the grade of oil exclusive only for the compressor. Crankcase inspection. Cleaning of oil filters Cleaning of auto drain trap Checking the pressure gauge The first stage, second stage gauge, the oil and the water gauge Testing of safety device such as lube oil low pressure alarm. Overhauling, cleaning, and inspection of the first stage valve assembly, second stage suction valve, and second stage delivery valve. Checking and retightening the foundation bolts.
checking and inspection of the unloader. Overhauling of piston and change the piston ring. And lastly, here's the things you need to know or the preparation before starting of the air compressor or before you put to the automatic mode of operation. Number one, check the oil in the oil level gauge. Number two, Check the cooling water through water checker and be sure that the ball is on the upper part and floating. Number 3. Check that all necessary valves are open. After checking, put the compressor to the auto position and the compressor enters the automatic start and stop mode of operation. And don't forget to drain the air bottle regularly. That's all about for today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please write it down below. Thank you so much for watching.